Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Luke Barlow. And I'm Eva Sia. Today is Thursday, February 8th, 2024. And here are your morning announcements. Today is a B day. Tomorrow is an A day with CC1 and LS8. Wrestling has their Northern Region Tournament at Centerville High School at 1 p.m. The Black History question for today is, what was Muhammad Ali's original name? Answers will be accepted by Mr. Payton in Subschool 4 after the first period of the day. Chantilly is accepting AVID elective course applications through February 15th. Students can apply directly and schedule an interview. Don't forget to buy your tickets to the all-night graduation party on June 7th at 11 p.m. until June 8th at 4 a.m. Early bird pricing of $75 ends March 1st and then prices go up. You won't want to miss this fun event with your peers. There will be a DJ, casino, games, prizes every hour and more food than you can eat. The Rocket League interest meeting is today after school in room 584. Boys Tennis has an interest meeting today at 315 in room 565. The Chantilly High School Chess Club will be hosting an all-day Charger Chess Tournament from 9 a.m. until approximately 5 p.m. on Saturday, February 10th in the cafeteria. Chantilly is hosting their Valentine's Day Cabaret on Saturday, February 17th. All students are welcome to audition. Send a one-minute clip of your love-themed act to roryketzel at gmail.com. Audition videos are due tomorrow. For any questions, feel free to message at Chantilly underscore drama on Instagram. According to a Statista research poll, 53% of Americans plan on celebrating Valentine's Day this year. Valentine's Day was declared by Pope Gelasius on February 14th. It was not so later that it became a holiday associated with love. Like, it's my, one of my favorite holidays because I think it's just like really sweet. Um, everybody gives each other like candies, cards, and like flowers, and it's like really nice. I plan to take out my girlfriend out to a dinner, and we actually haven't decided yet, but I'm probably gonna surprise her with it. This year, I'll be. I'm planning to get all my friends together, and we're gonna do a Valentine's like dinner. On Valentine's Day, uh, it's gonna be my one year anniversary with my girlfriend, and we're gonna probably go to a restaurant or something. I don't know. That's probably it. I don't have much planned. Yeah, I really like the flower grams. Like last year, my friend bought me a flower from the flower gram, and it was really sweet, and I loved it, and I kept it in a vase for like a whole week until it died. Um, I think it's pretty cool. A cool little thing. I haven't bought a flower gram since like elementary school, so I think it's pretty cool that we're doing it again, and I'm planning on getting one. The best gift to give someone for Valentine's Day is probably like um, matching stuffed animals and like flowers and chocolate. Um, a good gift. I think anything that's, you know, anything that comes from the heart, if it's like, whether it's flowers or chocolate, or maybe she like, you know, doesn't like chocolate, then like, you know, nicer flowers, I guess. You know? My favorite romance movie, this one has a very personal connection to me, um, to all the boys I've loved before, that's, um, I love the story there, uh, it's just, I love that movie, yeah. My favorite romantic movie is probably The Kissing Booth, like all three of them. Giving flowers, chocolates, or writing cards are small but thoughtful gestures for Valentine's. This has been Melanie Nolasco and Madeline Dawson for the Nightly News. Now back to you. I'm going to be giving someone a flower, Graham. That's nice. They'll be distributed on Wednesday, February 14th during 6th period. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Eva Sia. And Luke Barlow reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.